Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another Here journal for you. Exodus chapter 35, the Exodus story from Egypt. The Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Exodus, a chapter at a time, doing a Here journal on each chapter of video here journal. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Exodus 35 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app, and then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 35 Instructions for the Sabbath Then Moses called together the whole community of Israel and told them, These are the instructions the Lord has commanded you to follow. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day must be a Sabbath day of complete rest, a holy day dedicated to the Lord. Anyone who works on that day must be put to death. You must not even light a fire in any of your homes on the Sabbath. Offerings for the Tabernacle. Then Moses said to the whole community of Israel, This is what the Lord has commanded. Take a sacred offering for the Lord. Let those with generous hearts present the following gifts to the Lord. Gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen and goat hair for cloth, tanned ram skins and fine goat skin leather, acacia wood, olive oil for the lamps, spices for the anointing oil and the fragrant incense, onyx stones and other gemstones to be set in the ephod and the priest's chest piece. Come all of you who are gifted craftsmen, construct everything that the Lord has commanded, the tabernacle and its sacred tent, its covering, clasps, frames, crossbars, posts and bases, the ark and its carrying poles, the ark's cover, the place of atonement, the inner curtain to shield the ark, the table, its carrying poles, and all its utensils, the bread of the presence. For light, the lampstand, its accessories, the lamp cups, and the olive oil for lighting, the incense altar and its carrying poles, the anointing oil and fragrant incense, the curtain for the entrance of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering, the bronze grating of the altar and its carrying poles and utensils, the wash basin with its stand the curtains for the walls of the courtyard, the posts and their bases, the curtain for the entrance to the courtyard, the tent pegs of the tabernacle and courtyard and their ropes, the beautifully stitched garments for the priests to wear while ministering in the holy place, the sacred garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments for his sons to wear as they minister as priests. So the whole community of Israel left Moses and returned to their tents. All whose hearts were stirred and whose spirits were moved came and brought their sacred offerings to the Lord. They brought all the materials needed for the tabernacle, for the performance of its rituals, and for the sacred garments. Both men and women came, all whose hearts were willing. They brought to the Lord their offerings of gold, brooches, earrings, rings from their fingers, and necklaces. They presented gold objects of every kind as a special offering to the Lord. All those who owned the following items willingly brought them, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen and goat hair for cloth, and tanned ram skins and fine goatskin leather. And all who had silver and bronze objects gave them as a sacred offering to the Lord, and those who had acacia wood brought it for use in the project. All the women who were skilled in sewing and spinning prepared blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine linen cloth. All the women who were willing used their skills to spin the goat hair into yarn. The leaders brought onyx stones and the special gem stones to be set in the ephod and the priest's chest piece. They also brought spices and olive oil for the light, the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense. So the people of Israel, every man and woman who was eager to help in the work the Lord had given them through Moses, brought their gifts and gave them freely to the Lord. Then Moses told the people of Israel, The Lord has specifically chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. 
The Lord has filled Bezalel with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. He is a master craftsman, expert in working with gold, silver, and bronze. He is skilled in engraving and mounting gemstones and in carving wood. He is a master at every craft, and the Lord has given both him and Aholiab, son of Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach their skills to others. The Lord has given them special skills as engravers, designers, embroiderers in blue, purple, and scarlet thread on fine linen cloth, and weavers. They excel as craftsmen and as designers. And that was Exodus chapter 35 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. So now for my hear journal, first the highlight, Exodus chapter 35 verses 20 to 22 and verse 29. Verse 20, So the whole community of Israel left Moses and returned to their tents. All whose hearts were stirred and whose spirits were moved came and brought their sacred offerings to the Lord. They brought all the materials needed for the tabernacle, for the performance of its rituals, and for the sacred garments. Both men and women came, all whose hearts were willing. They brought to the Lord their offerings of gold, brooches, earrings, rings from their fingers, and necklaces. They presented gold objects of every kind as a special offering to the Lord. In verse 29, So the people of Israel, every man and woman who was eager to help in the work the Lord had given them through Moses, brought their gifts and gave them freely to the Lord. So, what's my explanation? God asked his people to sacrifice and bring the plunder that they had taken from Egypt to build the tabernacle and all that would be in it. The craftsmen, both men and women, were given skills to produce the items to be used in the tabernacle. They gave of their time and resources freely. So what's the application for us today. God doesn't need our help, but graciously includes us in His plans to accomplish more than we could ever imagine. Remember, the Israelites were traveling across the wilderness, yet they had all the materials, tools, and expertise to construct the massive tabernacle and everything in it through the power of God. We should not doubt God or hold back sharing the time, resources, and giftings that the Lord has given us to accomplish the tasks that He has directed us to do. Reference Jeremiah 1.5 Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election. For if you practice these qualities, you will never fall. For in this way, there will be richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 1.9 Who saved us and called us to a holy calling, not because of our works, but because of His own purpose and grace, which He gave us in Christ Jesus before the ages began. Acts chapter 2, 38 and 39 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. 1 Corinthians 7:17. 7, 
Only let each person lead the life that the Lord has assigned to him and to what God has called him. This is my rule in all the churches. James chapter 2, 5. Listen, my beloved brothers, has not God chosen those who appear poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to those who love him? John chapter 15, verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. So what's my response? Lord, thank you for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for the calling you have given me along with the skills and power to effectively complete the tasks that you set before me. I strive to follow you faithfully and obediently always forever. Help me, Lord, to be effective in all you have me to do. I pray that anyone that does not know you will come to a saving revelation and relationship with you. Amen. Amen. Now, how about you? Why don't you try some hair drilling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You will be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. Talk to God about your calling, about what He'd have you to do, and faithfully and obediently follow Him. Seek Him now. God bless you.